Welcome to Lent Reflections Day 36. I'll be reading to you a selection from today's scripture readings, as well as other poetry and writing. O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O King. But if not, be it known to you, O King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression of his face was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace heated seven times more than it was wont to be heated, and he ordered certain mighty men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He said to his counsellors, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? They answered the king, True, O king. He answered, But I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him, and set at naught the king's command, and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Blessed are you, O Lord God of our fathers, and to be praised and highly exalted for ever. And blessed is your glorious holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted for ever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled and highly glorified for ever. Blessed are you upon the throne of your kingdom, and to be extolled and highly exalted for ever. Blessed are you who sit upon the cherubim, and look upon the deeps, and to be praised and highly exalted for ever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, and to be sung and glorified for ever. Blessed are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bring forth fruit with patience. At that time Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, You are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I proceeded and came forth from God. I came not of my own accord, but he sent me. The following comes from He and I, Spiritual Journey of a Mystic by Gabrielle Bossi. Your beloved does so much for you. When you are absorbed in other things, he is there. When you are putting forth great efforts because your faith is dim, he is there. When you no longer feel his presence, he is with you. And when you think you are deserted, he is right in your very center, alive, watchful, loving. Knowing this, How could your tenderness not go out to him, to him of whose being you have only a shadowy conception? Say to him again and again, I realize that I know nothing about you, but with faith and confidence I give myself lovingly and without reserve in life and death, for you are more and more present, more and more loving, and more and more mine. But above all, think this, go deep into the meaning of those words by going deep into my wounds. Make this your permanent home, especially the wound in my heart. It will refuse you nothing. When people are under the same roof, don't they love to share everything? Live in my heart. Would you like to try since you are invited? What could hinder you? It isn't shyness nor indifference, nor fear then it's just a question of making a first effort. But you know that I always help. Try. Once the threshold is crossed, you will notice that you are more at home than in your own home. You will know the sweetness of the secret life and of silent and heart-searching intimacies. What a joy for me. Should I thank you now? Are you ready? The following prayer is by Neil Thew. Come, Holy Spirit. Enter our silences. Come, Holy Spirit, into the depths of our longing. Come, Holy Spirit, our friend and our lover. 
Come Holy Spirit, unmask our pretending. Come Holy Spirit, expose our lives. Come Holy Spirit, sustain our weakness. Come Holy Spirit, redeem our creation. Enter our trusting, enter our fearing, enter our letting go, enter our holding back. Flood our barren spaces, make fertile our deserts within. Break us and heal us, liberator of our desires. Come Holy Spirit, embrace and free us. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining in today's Lent Reflection.